Greetings and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to read, explain, and break down what is coming to a Firestorm viewer in the future. I'm sure most of y'all have already heard about the physically based rendering or known as PBR. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over what is it. Oh, oh dear. It looks like somebody uh, forgot the, the letter I there. Oh dear. All right. So I'll read the paragraph. Imagine a virtual world where the sunlight glistens off shiny surfaces. Fabrics exhibit realistic textures and materials react naturally to lighting conditions. This is the magic of PBR. Unlike traditional rendering techniques that rely on artistic approximations, PBR stimulates how light interacts with different materials in the real world. The result, stunning visuals that make virtual environments feel tangible and immersive. In other words, if you have a low spec computer, you might be hurting, you might be hurting. The rise of PBR and computer gaming isn't just a coincidence. PBR's ability to create lifelike surfaces and materials has made it a game changer in the industry. Gamers now expect a level of realism that was only once dreamed of. PBR enables games to portray materials accurately. Whether it's a stone wall's roughness or a car's glossy finish, this level of detail creates a deeper connection between players and the virtual world they inhibit. First of all, between players, no, it's Firestorm. This should be residents, players. No, 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 no. Legend Lab has been working tirelessly on PBR. They have made amazing strides, and the viewer is generally stable and edging its way towards a full release, quote-unquote, soon. Yep, later in the year, sometime in the future, but they never tell you what year, so who knows? Who knows? As Second Life embraces PBR, there will be changes. PBR-ready content will look more realistic and visually engaging. However... As with any transformation, there may be some disruption to existing content. Creators will need to adapt their assets to the new rendering system. Some textures might need adjustments to utilize the, the benefits of PBR fully. While every effort will be made to minimize these disruptions, it's important to be prepared for change. And this is where we need your help, as many of you as possible. So what Firestorm is doing, they're opening up the a Firestorm viewer release uh, with enabled PBR. Their in-world group will have a note card on instructions on how to download it and all this stuff, but you use it just like you would a normal viewer. And any bugs you come across or anything that's broken, you report it on, on their Jira ticket. Obviously, if you don't report things, then they won't be fixed. And if you see something that's a problem, then obviously you're going to report it because it's a problem for you. But if you see something that isn't a problem for you, then you should still report it because it could be a problem for someone else. So the whole point is to report all the bad things, glitches, all the things and things that didn't work before or, you know, that, that did work before, but now doesn't work. Report all of that stuff. It, it is a communal effort here, you know. Like if you're a builder, you're not going to be in a, you may not be interested in scripting, but the thing is, it shouldn't really bother scripting. If you're a content creator and if there's a glitch, but it's not important to you, then it should be because it's important to someone else. So just report it. Just report all the things, everything, everything. We'll continue to read. To highlight as many issues and bugs as possible before the full release, Firestorm has is is taken an almost unprecedented step 
by releasing an early preview of our version of the PBR viewer. This viewer is not a release. It is not even a release candidate or preview build, but is instead a special, al special alpha build. It will install alongside your regular Firestorm, and the hope is that many of our users, as possible, will try it. We will publish the download links in our dedicated preview group. The normal support groups will not support this build, but the preview group will act as a sounding board and clearinghouse for those with issues. When issues and or concerns are identified, we hope that you will raise these concerns with Linden Lab through their Jira system. Most PBR specific bugs are expected to be common to both Firestorm and Linden Lab viewers and therefore best dealt with by the expert graphics team at Linden Lab. When will the alpha be available? Well, it's available now. Where can you get it? You join the Phoenix Firestorm preview group in World and look at the notices. A note card and download links will be found, will be found there. How do you use it? Just use it like a normal viewer. You can still switch back to the release viewer, though we suggest backing up your settings as a matter of routine. Right now, the main objective is to check that existing content remains usable and wave red flags over the areas that concern you. This does not mean that they will get fixed, but it is far better that Linden Lab and all of us are aware of the problems and can make informed choices. Once PBR gets released, it is far, far harder to fix things. In the end, if it is not wrong enough for someone to be bothered to report it, then it cannot be a major issue or, want, or warrant us being bothered to fix it. That's what I was saying before. If you don't think it's a problem, it doesn't matter what you think. The, the thing is, is that it, it, it's going to be a problem for someone else. And this is a great opportunity to put ourselves as a community into this viewer because this is the future people. So we have to think about others and we have to look out for each other. If it's something that you don't think is a problem, you think about the other person. We all just pretend that we are each other and we are considerate and looking out for each other and we report all the problems because this is very true. Once the PBR gets released, it is far, far harder to fix things. And you all know, as in the past, when Linden Lab, when they try to implement something new, something that's been working for years, it breaks. So this is like the same type of thing, right? We have the power, the opportunity, just report all the problems. It does say that it does not mean that they will get fixed. But the point is here, this is a community exercise. This is a great exercise to think about your fellow Second Life resident. So just, just, just report all the things. Just, just report all the things. Now we're going to talk about managing expectations in another video because I pretty much said what I wanted to say in this video and I don't want it to get too long because I do not want the message to be lost overall. So basically, just if you want to read about it, I will have the link to this page in the description box below. But yeah, seriously, you know, there's a link. You could go to the fire, the Phoenix Firestorm preview group in World, look for the notices. And so this is like an example. And I know that possibly there's been like, you know, some fear factor put into the whole PBR thing. Like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no it's going to break all my textures. Oh no. Well, Overall, it's supposed to enhance the textures that we're, that we're already used to using and seeing. But as with anything technical, what you may think will not have a problem usually ends up having a problem. So 
if y'all have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. And uh, I will do a part two on this. But I just wanted to let you all know that, yeah, you do have the opportunity to make a difference, report all the problems, help your fellow SL resident, and get ready to embrace the, <laughs> what is to come? What is to come? I'll say this, though, people. Start saving up for that new computer. Just, I mean, if you're on a low, oh, dear. What's going on? No, I'm, I'm no. So this is what happened. I had logged in and I didn't have a shirt on. So I put a new shirt on. But you can see my old shirt has decided to show up. So that that's what's going on there. So uh, let me just take my shirt off here. Where is the shirt? See, there we go. I'll wear a Bigfoot today. Yeah, that is going to be it from me. Don't be scared. Just be prepared. And remember, you have the opportunity to help your fellow SL resident. And, oh, oh dear. I, I, I had an opportunity to fix that alpha, and I, and I didn't. Well, let me, let, well, you know what? Maybe it's too tight. I don't know. Hope you all found that informative. Remember, if you want to comment, go right ahead. Uh, I will have the link to that web page that I was reading from in the description below. And, uh, well... May the uh, Linden gods have mercy on us all. See you in the next video. Bye.